The 12 Days of Christmas Eve combines three things that I love. Kelsey Grammer, Christmas films, and Groundhog Day-esque films. And I have to say, I'm really pleased with this film. I had high hopes for it. I really, really wanted to love it. And I'm pleased to say I really did. This was released in 2020. It's directed by Dustin Rickert and written by Irene Donoghue. And it stars Kelsey Grammer as Brian. It also stars Spencer Grammer, his daughter, as Michelle, which is pretty great. And Uchi Umshid plays Harkin, Michelle's daughter, Brian's granddaughter, who really brings a, a delightful breath of fresh air. Uh, she's a, a really lovely character. And Brian is not the nicest person. He's not necessarily completely a Scrooge, but at the same time, his priorities are in the wrong places. He's not a fan of Christmas. He doesn't really allow himself to spend time with his daughter or his granddaughter. He's too concerned with things that shouldn't really be taking top priority, particularly at this time of year and he ends up in a car accident and in theory dies and the first person he sees in the afterlife is Santa Claus and Santa Claus tells him that he will give him 12 chances to redo that day and get it right and identify the true meaning of Christmas and I kind of like the fact there's a limit to this. I can't say no Groundhog Day film has done this, but none comes to mind. But I like the fact that it's not just infinite chances to redo the day until he gets it right. He has 12 opportunities, which, to be fair, seems like a lot. And obviously, they're playing into the whole 12 days of Christmas aspect. And throughout the course of the film, Brian relives the day numerous times to try and identify the true meaning of Christmas. And every time, he seems to get it a little bit more in the right direction, but he never quite gets it. And obviously, I'm not going to say what ultimately happens with the film, but with each chance that he gets, he seems to get one step closer and becomes a much more likable character. Sometimes people will not like Groundhog Day films because they can seem quite repetitive. I'm pleased to say that this one, for the most part, wasn't repetitive. There, there were quite a lot of interactions with somebody who wanted to buy out Brian's company. And I feel like that part was maybe a little bit repetitive. It seemed to just be the same thing over and over again. It worked once or twice because Brian could kind of preempt what she was going to say. But that part of it, I feel like, was a bit too repetitive. But other than that, things felt quite fresh, quite varied. He doesn't die in the same way at the end of every day either, which I thought was a, a really good decision, just to keep things a little bit fresh. And some of the deaths are things that one could predict, some of them maybe a little bit more creative. So there, there are definitely a lot of great things going on with this film. And of course, Kelsey Grammer is amazing. I'm, I'm biased. I love him. So I had a feeling I would like that aspect of the film. But he is brilliant. And the film is very festive. A lot of it is set at this Christmas party that his company is hosting. So we do have a very festive atmosphere. And we have some Christmassy costumes. And he wears a Santa hat at one point or a, an elf hat. I can't remember which it was. But he's wearing a, a Christmassy costume. And uh, I rather enjoyed it. It's a really fun, festive film. If you love Groundhog Day style films, then it is one that will, I think, really appeal to you. I personally found that that aspect of it worked really well. There's a really great amount of Christmas in it. Kelsey Grammer was brilliant. I have zero complaints. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. Would be happy to watch it again. Not immediately, but at some point. The 12 Days of Christmas Eve is a really enjoyable film. And if it sounds like one that would appeal to you, then I absolutely recommend it.